So once you open up uh, Artisan, you go to the top here and you hit uh, Configure, and then the first button down is Machine, and then you scroll over to the BC Roaster. Now this isn't the latest version. If the, you saw the latest version, they've added a lot of other roasters, but we were one of the first to be on there. And then you click on that BC Roaster, and it'll ask you you want to configure it. Yes. Then it will bring up the uh, serial port to make sure you got the right serial port. You can see here it says COM port 4. Well, on a Mac, which is, in my opinion, far superior than Windows, you should be able to click that drop down menu and it will show you the actual driver that you installed, which is the CP2102 uh, bridge controller. And that's the one you want to click on and then click OK. Now you know it's connected to the uh, roaster. Now the roaster has to be on for it to notice it. So we just turn on the roaster. So now we're going to turn on Artisan. And when we turn on Artisan, you should see over here matching temperatures. I don't know how well you can see that on the uh, video, but it's between 104.4 on the ET and 99.9 .9 on the BT. And you can see it's registered just right on that. So we know we have that properly set up. If you run into a problem 9 out of 10 times, it's because you either didn't install the driver or you didn't connect up to the correct uh, uh, port. Or uh, if it's Windows, it could be blocking that driver from being used and you got to go in and fool with Windows to find out how to uh, give it permission to use that uh, uh, driver. But anyway, we're going to do a roast now with the BC5. I've actually got 5.5 pounds of coffee, uh, to more coffee. And we're going to do a roast with that. We're also going to do uh, run our uh, Clear Sky smoke suppression system. So join in.